sometimes a new commander comes to rise of kingdoms and their skills don't exactly work as they expect sometimes the skill will say one thing and then the battle report does another thing and this can lead to a lot of confusion amongst the players which is typically why a lot of people say to wait for a commander to come into the game and to have testing done before you actually invest in them and of course that is the right way to do things but luckily Lilith has been a bit better over the last I would say year or two with releasing their commanders relatively in a finalized state rarely do they have to like go back and change a new commander after putting them in the game these days which I think is good but what if I told you that on the wheel of fortune there is a legendary archer commander that has been in the game for over four years now and still one of their skills is absolutely broken and doesn't do what it's supposed to and when I say broken I don't mean OP I mean literally not working as it's intended well today that's what we're going to talk about and oh no sorry it's not YSG it's actually Edward of Woodstock yeah just when you thought Edward couldn't get any worse one of his skills is literally not working <laughs> so today we're gonna go over what's going on with Edward of Woodstock and whether or not the developer should fix it or just refund his sculptures but first what's going on guys cheers the, the shelves are coming together the top shelf is still pretty empty but we're, we're making progress back there boys and yes my bed is actually made I know you don't believe me but I promise it is okay so which skill on Edward of Woodstock isn't working properly is it the active skill is it the third skill no it is the expertise skill yes ladies and gentlemen as a reward for spending 690 legendary commander sculptures you are going to unlock a skill that literally does not work as it is written here the expertise on Edward of Woodstock says for two seconds after using an active skill all normal attacks and counter attacks deal 50 percent increased damage now I actually just talked about this in yesterday's video where we were talking about the synergy of different commanders with the potential for smite damage to come to that troop type and somebody reminded me in the comments section below that this expertise used to be bugged and that it still actually is and I thought wait a minute that's right I actually already made a video about this topic on December 21st 2021 it's been two years since I made a video talking about this and surely his expertise has to be fixed by now right but the best part about this is that the expertise for Edward of Woodstock was doomed from the moment he was revealed to the public you can see here in this image on Facebook he was first revealed to the public on August 26th 2019 that is over four years ago and you can see here that they state that his expertise increases normal attack and counter attack damage by two percent for 50 seconds after using a skill so right out of the gate the numbers were accidentally flipped for the wording here okay we know that they intended for it to be 50 percent normal and counter attack damage for two seconds and not the other way around but can you imagine if this skill stacked infinitely like every time a skill is used you get plus two so you would get Edward of Woodstock skill goes off you get two percent normal and counter attack damage then your secondary commander skill goes off you get another two percent that stacks up to four percent and if it continued to refresh every single time that a skill was added you could stack this up infinitely and I think that would be hilarious and also maybe actually might make Edward good again but regardless the expertise doesn't actually do either of these things it does not do what it says that it does here in game and has said for th since he came into the game okay they changed it to this text pretty much right when he came into the game and it's never done this it's literally never worked it's never done this so what exactly does his expertise do well I reached out to two people in my kingdom that have expertise to Edward of Woodstock and these are the battle logs that they sent me for this video so huge shout out to RK and Ryan thank you guys for helping me out with this but here you can see on turn 13 okay Edward of Woodstock's counter attack damage was increased by 50 percent due to all or nothing and and then Edward of Woodstock's attack was increased by 50% due to all or nothing. You could see off on the left here, we get plus 50% troop attack and then plus 50% counter attack damage. Okay, let's jump over to the other battle report and boom, we see the same thing again. Troop attack was increased by 50% 
and counterattack damage and the same thing is shown off to the left here so what this means is that the expertise is okay sure it's boosting the 50 percent counterattack damage that's good but this says all normal attacks deal 50 percent increased damage right i mean there's no other way to interpret the way that this is written it says all normal attacks and counterattacks deal 50 percent increased damage okay so we should expect to see a 50 percent increase to normal attack damage there's no other way to deal 50 percent more normal attack damage than to increase it by 50 percent if you wanted to deal 50 percent more normal attack damage by just buffing your attack stat you would have to buff your attack stat by a massive amount okay because attack in this game as a stat has diminishing returns on your investment okay and this is why a lot of times when you're investing in commanders and you're investing in different stats for your equipment and things like that a lot of times you want to focus a little bit more on health because it's the stat that you have the least of just naturally by playing rise of kingdoms just so you can visualize what's actually happening here okay this is sort of a rough estimate of what the battle formula is for rise of kingdoms uh, we obviously don't know the exact battle formula i don't think that it's ever been revealed but the battle formula that you see on the screen here it's kind of close okay and the rock battle simulator has actually adjusted this to make it even more accurate for their simulator but for the purposes of this video all you need to understand is sort of how the stats come into play when dealing normal damage factor okay um so here you could see that your total attack stat is a very small portion in the numerator of a numerator and that is multiplied by other factors such as like number of troops and things like that and that will give you your damage factor okay and in this image what you're calculating this entire formula is calculating the normal attack damage that you're doing on any given turn okay so this over here is effectively your normal attack damage for that turn so if you are going to increase your normal attack damage by 50 percent typically what would happen is whatever the outcome of this whole formula is you would multiply it by 1.5 right you would increase it by 50 percent at the very end of the damage calculation that way you get the desired result okay if you wanted to increase this number by 50 percent by altering just your attack stat you would have to increase this number by way more than 50 percent because it's being divided by multiple things and then run through the rest of the formula in order to spit out your normal attack damage okay so so when we look at Edward of Woodstock's expertise and it says all normal attacks and counterattacks deal 50 percent increased damage the expectation from the player is that the normal attack damage is increased by 50 percent i mean like that's it's what it says like that's literally it just that's what i could i could read it right here with my eyeballs that's what it says so if it only buffs your attack and your counter attack well then it's literally not working it's literally not working and buffing your normal attack damage by 50 percent is way better than buffing your attack by 50 percent we've already talked about why this is the case now you could make the argument that like having 50 percent more attack for the skill shot of the secondary to Edward of Woodstock might offset this a little bit and and that's fine I don't know the actual numbers there but the reason that this is relevant now is because of the video that I released yesterday okay it's the video where I talk about different commanders with synergy for smite damage okay if this is not worded correctly then it's not going to influence smite damage correctly either because we know that smite damage scales off of normal attack damage increases and this says that it's a normal attack damage increase but it's actually not because it hasn't worked for the past four years well now we have yet another reason why Edward of Woodstock's expertise should be fixed okay and at this point in the video I'm gonna go over kind of what I think should be done about this now first of all what percentage of players have Edward of Woodstock expertise it's basically nobody okay let's be honest it's less than 0.1 percent of the entire game I would suspect in fact we can actually come into the achievements here and it says Edward of Woodstock's expertise has been achieved by less than 0.1 percent of the entire player base okay now of course this includes farms and bots and you know all the other accounts that are inactive and all that other stuff but we know that you know most players do not have Edward of Woodstock expertise and for good reason right like even if this was fixed is he really a good commander that you should be investing in no I, I don't think so okay so the percentage of players that this actually affects is almost 
zero okay like even me I have some sculptures in Edward of Woodstock but the, it I'm not being affected by this I guess typo or by this failed implementation however you want to call it so for most players this doesn't really matter but I still think something should be done here and there's two things that I want to talk about first of all I think players who expertise Edward of Woodstock should have some amount of sculptures refunded to them I, I think that that's fair okay and for a few reasons first of all they're not getting the skill that they expected to get because it's literally not working as it's written second of all Edward of Woodstock has aged very poorly in Rise of Kingdoms and he's just garbage I mean he's he's just garbage we know he's garbage there's really no reason to ever use Edward of Woodstock at this point so not only is he an obsolete commander he's also not working properly so I think some amount of sculptures should be given to players who expertise Edward of Woodstock only okay if you have any other investment in him sorry you're not affected by this yes he's trash but that's you know whatever now how many sculptures should be refunded I don't know okay that's up for the developers to decide I don't think that they would give a full refund I mean that would be obviously amazing but I I don't see that actually happening to be honest with you guys okay but I think that that is step number one and then step number two is actually fix the skill right like I actually think that it should give you 50 percent normal attack damage because you know again in the past this being bugged was stupid and annoying of course but now that we actually have a mechanic in the game that that actually scales off of that specific buff right like we have smite damage now any skill in the game that's not working related to normal attack damage should be reevaluated. It should be re looked at again. And, and you should look at it and say, okay, well, we need to fix this now because now this is going to influence more things in the game than it would have influenced six months ago or four years ago. Right now, of course, you're never going to pair Edward of Woodstock with Liu Che. Okay. I, I just, I mean, that's never going to happen, but if they ever implement a smite damage archer commander which I think they will then we we've got a problem here right we've we we see synergy written down but it's not actually going to work that way and I think that sucks I think Edward of Woodstock should give you 50 percent normal attack damage and I think that it should scale the smite damage and I think we should have a reason to use Edward of Woodstock again okay or even in the first place I'm saying again as if people ever used him like people don't use Edward okay let's get let's give people a reason to use their Edward of Woodstock if they ex expertise him all right I think that that's only fair they've been waiting four years for this skill to be fixed and they've been waiting four years to even use Edward because he ain't good anyway that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video shout out to he Zhang I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name but I believe you were the one that commented on my video yesterday pointing this out and reminding me something that I literally I made a video about this two years ago and I literally forgot about it because I I mean first of all everyone forgot about Edward as a commander but also I kind of just assumed that they fixed it like like a soft fix or a, just a quick fix patch update something like that but it turns out they haven't they've never fixed this it's been four years Lilith come on let's get it together okay let's refund those people who expertise Edward let's let's get the ball rolling let's fix this dude so that way if you ever implement smite damage for archers he'll actually have a chance at and maybe having a small amount of synergy for once in his life if you made it to the end of this video make sure you comment down below what you think should be done about Edward of Woodstock if anything do you think that like who cares about him whatever just leave it or do you think they should fix it do you think they should refund people I would love to hear from you in the comment section below and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video we are so close to 60,000 subscribers which is actually insane so every little sub counts and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and the more people who see this maybe the more chance that Lilith actually actually sees it this time because clearly they didn't see my video from two years ago but anyway with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace